Hi, I'm Ashaya Collins and I'm here to see, experience, and change the world that we live in today by connecting people. I want to, you know, learn about myself by understanding those differences that exist between my country and other countries. I'm most passionate about environmental issues and reducing political apathy among youth. I'm intensely interested in foreign affairs and international affairs. And I'm also really passionate about gender discrimination. This is a weird one, but I'm really passionate about diseases. Climate change, um, school lunches, and school education reform. I'm very passionate about social justice, activism. Spreading peace, having peace in my community and as well as my world. I want to become a global citizen. You may be the first American somebody has met. The American Youth Leadership Program is an initiative of the U.S. Department of State Bureau of Educational and Cultural Affairs. This is Legacy's first year administering the program, and we chose to work in Cyprus because we wanted to address the theme of environmental climate change. We're going to some small towns and villages, going in the mountains. You may be the first person of your religion or non-religion that a person has met. Maybe the first person of your ethnicity or culture somebody has met. So um, this is just going to kind of have in the back of your mind. Okay. Come up here and I want you to sign that you agree with this. Young people in our programs are selected from a wide variety of states, socioeconomic backgrounds, racial backgrounds. There were 18 youths and two adults that were selected to go all of the young people really demonstrated leadership potential. They had done some community work and it showed that commitment to civic engagement already. U.S. Department of State's exchange programs have always been inclusive, but we wanted to really make sure that we were opening up the possibility to people who might need personal assistance and make those parents and populations feel secure in that. I want you to decide which is the most important issues facing the world today. Like, end all the wars that are going on, and we'll see a lot of problems this year. End all wars? I mean, that's sort of impossible. I don't know, that's not as important. And yeah. you can, you know, disagree with me. I'm not saying wars is the best way to resolve conflicts by any means, but then how do you resolve conflicts? It always comes down to what's going to end the world, and where it's always like climate change and nuclear holocaust. <laughs> that's all of it. Leaving a legacy behind that's better than the one that you inherited is important. For us, that means exposing young people to uh, organizations and individuals that are trying to do just that. It's really important to give people an opportunity to step outside and see the world and also see how America is perceived in the world and um, get a chance to kind of act as cultural ambassadors. I don't know about international travel. I've never flown internationally. I've had flights before where I'd get off the plane and my scooter's not working. This is the first time I'm traveling without my family. The furthest I've been is California and Washington. And I'll actually be the youngest in my family to fly overseas. And I've never flown before. And we give them a chance to go and represent the United States in Cyprus amongst their Cypriot peers, tell them what life is like for them here, but also model the kind of youth leadership that we exemplify here in the United States. The first two days that we were there, we did a bi-communal tour of walking to the city. Some areas of Cyprus were accessible and then others weren't, like historical places. We still always run into whether or not the countries that we're going into are really fully accessible. Every one of these kids was were so great to lift my scooter anytime I needed it. The environment and climate change has wreaked havoc on different systems. So for us going to an island like Cyprus where those changes are really clear, has been a really important tool for us to talk about climate change. No, don't throw it. 
Every day we learn something about the environmental efforts in Cyprus, and we kind of compared them to the environmental efforts in the U.S. Ultimately, giving young people that exposure to issues that they might not have felt so deeply about before is important because it does frame some of their future choices. They became really acutely aware, living in Cyprus, what the day-to-day -day living is like when you have to really consciously think about every milliliter of water that you're using. For three weeks, being in a different country, seeing all these different things, just experiencing a new culture and knowing about different places just kind of expands like your, your perspective in a way that you don't really have to. Kind of changes you inevitably. Six months ago, I barely knew Cyprus existed. Okay, you get to experience Greek culture, Turkish culture, Cypriot culture, European culture. I think this trip has made me more conscious, not only about water, about energy, about other people, just, but just about people in general. If I were to describe my Cyprus experience using three words, halloumi cheese, Beach. Educational. Unexpected. Enlightening. Adventurous. And cultural. Revolutionary. Fantastic. Beautiful. Welcoming. Eye-opening. Compassionate. Exciting. Challenging. Memorable. Breathtaking. Bright. Incredibly fun. And new. Awesome. Interesting. Rewarding. Indescribable. Sunny. Amazing. Inspiring. Fascinating. Friendly. Awesome and wonderful. Actually, I take those back. I would probably say best time ever. They have a lot of opportunities to take leadership in their schools and in their communities to uh, change things that are important to them, whereas in other countries it's not as easy. There's more red tape or there's less opportunity for extracurricular activities, so the flexibility that they have here was something that became really cherished by them, and I think that they're going to take more initiative as a result. I feel like sometimes people don't take America for what it is, and they, they get caught up in the negatives, but then going away let me see like a lot of the positives more.